Hey guys, it's a beautiful day out here. Wanted to give a quick review of my Arians Icon 60 inch zero turn. Um, little pros and cons type review. I've got about 15 hours on it right now. I cut about three acres. Um, it does a fine job. It's got the 60 inch deck. I believe it's the Envy deck. It's 11 gauge steel, very well put together. Got the LED lights on the front, although I don't cut at night, so who knows. Got the step, nice wide deck. Got the Kawasaki 23 horsepower engine. Fires right up. Has not have have not had a lick of trouble with it. But for all the good, there are some things that I believe Arians could have done. Arians, Arians could have done better. First, for a 60-inch mower, I believe they probably could have put bigger rear wheels on the back. Um, these work. I think larger ones would have been a bit better. Um, it's my opinion, but I also will say these tires do not have enough traction. Um, I found myself, on, found myself on an incline in the front yard where I've got a ditch and I don't go down in the ditch but I get the edge of the ditch and these tires will not keep me in the grass they will start sliding sideways on me and it's kind of disturbing when that's happening uh, second thing that I think could have been better are these knobs here I went to I, I adjusted my control arms and I hand tightened this. Then the next time I went to adjust it, I couldn't get it loose and the knob came off and there's a there's a nut inside inside this knob and the the knob just basically twisted off the nut. Now if that happens, I could probably adjust it with a wrench. Um, but that I believe could have been improved on. These are very comfortable. The seat is very comfortable. Um, it's got a cup holder. I don't know why. what I would need a cup holder for. I don't, don't tend to carry drinks around with me while I'm mowing, but it does have a cup holder. Uh, but one of the biggest issues I have with this is this gas filler. Now, this, in my opinion... For a machine that cost as much as this mower did, um, this is a very bad design. And the reason I say that is because of this shallow angle here and the fact that it is very close to the thing. This makes it very difficult to fuel. Um, even with a funnel, because the angle is so low, it's hard to get a funnel that has enough uh, steepness to it to keep splashback from coming out. This would have been better if they had have turned it and had a vertical um, piece, had a vertical where you could pour the gas in. Um, you can see down on my deck where I spill gas like I do every time trying to put gas in this thing because the way this is designed it splashes back very easily if you try to put gas into it too fast because the gas doesn't flow fast enough and the angle is so low you would have a lot less splash back if this was steeper if I had a 3d printer I would attempt to 3d print something that would thread on here and make an elbow right here where I could pour gas in and it'd be better to hold the funnel um, but that's to me that's that's a kind of a major drawback because even with gas with the with a, a, a tank uh, can with the spout 
And granted, I'm using five gallon cans, which are very heavy. Um, it's just difficult to, to get the fuel in this thing. Once fuel's in there, it's fine. But it's just difficult to get the fuel in. Front tires are a good size. Um, doesn't have any suspension in front like some of the Toro time cutters do, but the one Toro time cutters that have a suspension also have the suspension seat, which are, uh, they're more expensive than this one. And granted, this was not an inexpensive machine. Another thing that I have kind of a bit of an issue with is this, is the chute cover there. Uh, one drawback to this machine is I've noticed that Aaron's does not make a true mulching kit for this machine, which I'd really like to get. Um, they have a piece that you can use to block the chute. It's supposed to make it act as a molting kit. I don't know how well that would actually work. Um, but I also, there's, I have a, an issue with the design of this discharge. Um, specifically the fact that when you raise it up, it won't stay up. I've looked at some of the big boy mowers and some of the cub cadets and there's you lift it up it'll stay up out of the way this one not so much um, I use a bungee cord for when I store it because where I have to park it it's a little narrow to get this thing in there so I bungee cord that up um, but it would be nice if it just stayed up on its own there and uh, but other than that yeah it starts up first try I pull the choke turn the key and as soon as it fires I knock the choke down and it runs and uh, now I gotta go uh, I'm gonna go cut a couple acres so y'all have a great day like and subscribe tag Aaron's tell them uh, they should send me uh, an improved version for review that would be great Thanks. Have a great day. Bye, guys.